Floss Tube. This is Nancy Quilting Stitcher. I'm also known as Quilting Stitcher on Instagram. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, I will say that if you request to follow me on Instagram, if I look at your pictures and you don't have anything cross stitch or quilting related in there, I will not approve you. I've had a couple of people that I haven't approved and I don't know if they're from my video, you know, because they watch my videos or whatever. But if you're not a cross stitch or a quilter and you don't have those things on your Instagram, I won't approve you. <sighs> Welcome to my channel. Um, today is the 21st of January, 2020, and this is floss tube number 35. Um, I do have notes, so if I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at my notes. <sighs> We're going to try this video again. I've had computer issues. I've had issues I went to pull sorry let me move this forward um I went to pull um a winner for um the preschooler Santas from my last regular video couldn't um couldn't so I am going to be doing a re-giveaway I guess you could say um anyway hope everyone had a good a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year um mine was uh, quite eventful <laughs> i'm not going to get into it um all i can say is my dad fell and on christmas eve and i spent the christmas eve night and the, in the emergency room with him and then i spent the night um where he lives at his care facility so it's crazy and the week between new year's christmas eve and new year's eve was very stressful um we have moved him into a new facility he is doing very well um, the only downfall is instead of just being 10 minutes away, he is now two and a half hours away from me, which, um, has been very emotional for me. That's been very hard because my biggest fear is that he will pass away and I will not get there in time, but it is what it is. He needed to be taken care of better than he was. And, um, for the amount of money that we were paying, we just weren't taking care of him. So um we moved him to this new facility i have not been to visit him yet he's been there since i think the day before new year's eve like the 30th of january or december um i haven't been there to see him yet um we've had some bad weather and then i babysit some grandkids my daughter works graveyard and so from the time that she goes to work until her husband gets home from work i have kids because she works seven p.m. to 7 a.m. So she drops her kids off for me, so I need to schedule a time on days that she's not working that I can get down there and see him. Um, the plus side to that is, with him being there, is every time I go and see him, I drive right past Shepherd's Bush. So I can stop. <laughs> not that I'm going to because I am not. Let's see. That's not how I want to say it. I am restricting what I buy this year. So, um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, so that's a plus side to him being there, I guess. <laughs> I still don't like him being that far away. <clears throat> but it was something that was a decision that my sister and I had to make. And um, for his, so he could get the best care that he needs. He has, um, he suffers from dementia. And in the past i've noticed in the past two or three months that it's really progressed so he needed to be in a place that would take better care of him and was more equipped to take care of his dementia anyway excuse me for a minute i am i have a drippy nose my nose runs 24 7 just so you know i am not sick but i'm not going to pause the video to blow my nose so Okay, so what I've been working on, um, I have a few finishes, fully finishes. Let's see, I forgot, forgot to grab a couple. Okay, so this one is actually, I have finished, I finished, it's been a while since I finished it. I had it finished, I think, from last January, but I wasn't doing videos at the time when I fully finished it, so I thought I would show it. This is, and I've got a string I need to cut off. This is um, from a Hands On Designs, A Year in Celebration. This is January. Um, 
none of the call for colors on these on these zero celebrations I'm just pulling a few colors this one only has three well three main colors in it and then it does have brown for his arms and then orange for his nose but other than that it's basically three colors so I am just um, random pieces of scrap fabric that I have is what I'm stitching them on they are on magnets so I can change this out every month and I think the only ones I have left to do are April, May, and August and then I will be completely done with this series my next fully finish this one was actually a start a finish and a fully finish since my last regular video and this is January wordplay by with the needle and thread um when I first showed this this and said I was going to start stitching them I showed a piece of fabric I think it was lamb's wool was the color um and I said I wasn't going to tea, coffee, diet, nothing. I started stitching this and I had a couple of the words done and I didn't like it. So I actually, I didn't unpick the words, but I actually took all the fabric because I already have all the fabric cut for each one of these. And I just dumped it in some coffee and tea. I didn't bake and baste it or anything. I just, and just put some. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see this was finished some a different way. Um, I had finished it into the pillow, but then I didn't have this on it, and I didn't have the bells. And I had just put, I can't remember what I did, but anyway, I decided I didn't like it that way. So I added the little hanger, and I added the rusty jingle bells at the bottom, and then just some fabric. This is the fabric for the back in the back and um, this hangs on my hutch and actually by looking at the picture it's hard to see her pit the picture is really bad but if you look at the picture really closely this is actually how she has it finished just like this so I will probably finish all of them the same way um, I wish I had to put a little bit more stuff in this one but whatever it doesn't matter it's mine and I like it all right, the other thing that I have, this is not fully finished, but it's almost fully finished. Um, my sweet friend Diane gave me um, the chart by Station Stacy Nash. It's called, I think it's called Red Work Pinky, something like that. I can't really remember. If you really want to know the name of the chart, I can look it up. Just ask me in, in the comments and um, I can look it up and let you know. This is the first one I did. This is stitched on a piece of fabric. This eight of it was uh, tea and coffee dyed by me. And the color that I stitched it with was Weeks Dye Works Cayenne. Um, my friend, when she sent the chart, she sent me two skeins of the of the Dover Dyes Boss for it. And this is the fabric that's on the back and this will be made into a pillow I just need to stuff it I am going to use um, crushed walnut shells to stuff it and some polyfill um, I just haven't got out to the crush to do it it's been cold here I mean I have not I have not even hardly left my house for the last week because it's been cold and last week we had two snowstorms that came in that actually resulted in two days of snow days where, where there was no school so I ended up with grandkids those days too so I have not really left my house anyway so there's that one then in there there was this chart and it's actually if you do the pattern like you're supposed to it's stitched on one piece like this and then what you do is you fold it over and so this was the front and this would be the back but I wanted two different pillows so um, my husband just got home hold please sorry about that he just got home from work I didn't expect him home this early and um, 
my dog was going to go crazy. So anyway, as I was saying, so anyway, I chose to make mine into two different pillows. And um, my friend that gave me the pattern, I sent her a picture of some fabric, some different fabric to put on the back. And I... I says, what do you think? And she says, this one looks the best. And I agreed with her. This one actually matches the best. So anyway, so I have two different pillows. This one I used Weeks Dye Works Cayenne that she had sent me. This one I used Weeks Dye Works Lancaster Red. Um, they're actually pretty similar in color. And then I put 2020 on it because that's when I finished it. And then because my friend Diane had given this to me. I put my initials and I put her initials. So there you go. And this is actually not even correct because um, I had was stitching on it and I had this whole border done. I had clear over here. I had this done. Um, I counted down and I stitched all of this flower and then I went to stitch this pot and it was going to run into this bottom border well see over here it has that and then it has three two of those and then that so I missed a whole section on this border I would have had to take out this from well I'd had to take from here out all of this out to fix it. So instead I just modified my pot. There you go. So I will be making those into pillows. All right, on to my finishes. Not fully finished, but finishes. So I have decided for um, my ornaments that I'm gonna make for 2020, I am doing, I don't have the chart with me, but it's the, it's Prairie Schoolers booklet 151 and it's called Santa's and Snowman. And so I and I am only I only work on the ornaments on Sundays. And so I started on the first Sunday of January and here's the finish. This is because I wanted to kind of spread it out for the whole month. I did not I could have actually probably one and a half, one and a half Sundays had this completely done. But the first Sunday I did all of the white Second Sunday I did all the red, and then this past Sunday I did all the rest. So, first one's done. Seven more to go. All right, the last, the next thing I want to show you is I was working on Little House Needleworks Hometown Holidays, The Diner, and I finished it. Very cute. I added some beads. Um, some white beads just to give it a little bit more dimension and then I added some red beads down here and then this was previously finished but I added the beads to it this is the tree lot and this one was previously finished and I just added the beads to it and I think this is called schoolhouse so three more completely done don't know how I'm going to Fully finish those. I have some ideas rolling around in my head, um, but I haven't solidified that idea yet. The next finish I had since my last video, this was from the ornaments I did last year, which was Noah's ornaments, I think is what they were called, Nor Noah's Christmas ornaments by Plum Street, and this was the last one. So I still have this one, and then the last one I fully finished. The last, so the last two in the series, I still need to fully finish them. But I have everything ready to go. It's just I just need to sit down the day that I pull out my finishing stuff and get them done. So they didn't make the tree this year. And then my last finish I have, um, I was doing the Baby It's Cold Outside Sal with Lost and Floss. And I finished it.
This was stitched on 14 count Petrus plus L. So, I think in my last video, all I had was the, the houses done. And then, so I got the rest of it finished. And I have, don't know how I'm going to finish, fully finish it. I think, um, I'm thinking about this putting it in a frame, but I don't know. All right, on to my whips. All right, so my plan is for this year is I'm not starting anything new until I get the whips that I carried into 2020, I'm not carrying out. So I want to get all my whips that I carried in 2020 finished in 2020. Um, so I am making a rule that I'm not starting anything new until I get some of those whips done. Um, probably not all of them. I'll start something new before, um, before I get them all done, but I'm going to have try to get like three or four of them done before I start anything new. That doesn't include the, the word plays um, because I do want to try to get those done. So those are not going to be con considered. I'm considering those whips because it's an ongoing whip. And then um, also the preschool and monthlies. Um, I'm allowing myself to start those as I finish them. So they are not going to be considered um, new starts and also the Shepherd's Bush stockings because um, I'm going to continue to work on them you know and start new ones so they are not going to be considered what I consider a new start um, but anyway that being said I have a new grandbaby that will be arriving sometime in May the end of April 1st of May um, you know or into May and um, so I wanted to stitch a birth sampler for this new little baby boy we're getting in our family. I have, you typically, once I stitch a chart, I don't stitch it again. If I stitch a chart, it's, I'm done, I pass it on, I, I, I get rid of it. It's, it leaves, it flies out of my house. <laughs> um, that being said, this one, will be the ninth time I have started this chart. And I have made one of these for every one of my grandkids. It is called Baby Row by Bear Creek. And as you can see, it is very well loved. I've had to tape it back together because it has fallen apart. <laughs> it says, the pitter patter of little feet, a voice soft as sweet, sweet child of mine. And then it has a place to put their name and their birth date. And I do not use any of the colors. Um, I have done pink ones. I've done light pink ones, dark pink ones. I've done green ones. I've done blue ones. I've done light blue ones. I've done dark blue ones. I've changed them up for every child. This one is no exception. Um, the colors I picked for this one. I, she's someone, her friend me um my daughter-in-law's friend is giving her a baby shower and she says what's your theme and she says i don't have a theme she, they're not doing they don't have a nursery they're not doing a nursery um she's not a theme and her friend's like well you need to pick something so i you know a color or whatever so i have something to go by and so she, my daughter-in-law said navy and blue, uh navy and gray so i decided i am going to the colors I chose are navy and gray. This is where I'm at. So, and I am losing stuff. Hang on, I've lost my needle, part of my needle on your hair. And I don't want to lose my needle. Okay. All right. This is, this is where I'm at. So I looked and looked and looked for variegated um, over dyed floss because I wanted something that was gray and heavily variegated and I couldn't find anything. So what I did is I went with DMC's 
the DNC variegated one that goes from light gray to black. And I went in and I cut out the black, the darkest gray and the black part of it. And so I'm only using from the light gray to the, that's about medium gray, I think. And so I'm going to do all the fancy border around it in the gray. And then right here where it says Pitter Patter Little Feet and the name and the birth date will be in navy. So that's where I'm at. So because I do have a while, um, I'm on Sundays when I'm working on the ornaments. I'm also, this is also what I'm pulling out and working on. So, and not too bad for two Sundays. So this is a new start, but I'm not counting it as one that in my rule. <laughs> um, the next thing I have worked on, this is my travel project, and I've only worked on it a little bit, which is the Little House Needleworks, the Rooster and the Hens, and I am changing up the colors. Hers is very, has a lot of pinks and kind of light greens or whatever. And I want mine to be more of a bold color. So, and this is where I'm at. So cute. So, I think the last time I showed you, I have worked on this, the vine here, and these flowers. And I think I worked on some of the quilt. And I have decided that I'm going to put a yellow, kind of a, I don't know, a, like a goldish yellow in the quilt. And so I'm going to pull out this inner border and I'm going to stitch it in that yellow. So that's where I'm at. Almost done. Don't have a whole lot left on that one. All right. The next thing I've worked on. This was my New Year's start. I'm doing the Farms of Hawkrun Hollow. And I've started with this block right here. And um, I usually, I've been, what I've been doing is I've been having a focal piece for the week and then kind of on the weekends it's just hit and miss on, you know, I can just work on whatever. Um, so that's how I've gotten a lot of this other stitching done besides my focal points is because I've been working on it on the weekends. But that's the block I'm on. I am not going to put Hawk Run Farms. I'm going to put a family name. Um, my aunt, it's my, my dad's aunt and uncle that raised him. So, and they were like grandparents to me. They just, they lived like a quarter of a mile down the road when I was growing up. And so they were like grandparents. He was a small dairy farmer and milked cows, um, not with these newfangled contraptions, but he milked them by hand. And I got, I milked some of his cows by hand. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put his farm name in there, a fam, you know, his last name, or um, I think my mom's, my mom's dad, and my grandpa, from my mom's side. I didn't never knew him. He had passed away before I was born. But I think he, my mom always called him the milkman. He was the milkman. And I don't know if he delivered milk or if he milked cows. I'm not sure. But so anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to put a family name in there, but I haven't decided. So I'm not going to take this out of the hoop because there's really nothing to see beyond the hoop. That's where I'm at. So I'm working on filling in the heel. So I'm going to say I'm probably pretty close to halfway done as far as stitches go. I still have, um, you know, I still have the name, which I'm not going to put in for now. And I have this little, it's like a little fence and then the flowers. But I think up here has just as much stitching as this down here. So that's where I'm at. And I have 
to put everything back because I don't want it to be a hot mess when I'm done with the video. Like I said, my husband's home and kind of locked him out of, out of things, so I need to... Sorry, everything's on the floor. I don't have a whole lot of room where I'm sitting to, um, to put things. Okay, so the next one I have I'm working on, this was actually a new start, and this was February Wordplay by With a Needle and Thread. I am doing my own color conversion. I'm kind of picking colors that are pretty close to what she has here, but I am doing my own color conversion because in her in her chart she uses a ton of colors, and I scaled back on my colors. And so, oops, got ready to lose a needle. That would not be a good thing. This is where I'm at. I actually just started this. I've worked on it for a couple of nights. But I wanted, hers are more browns and grays, and I wanted more, just a little bit more vibrant colors. So I put some more red in there, and so my words are going to be red and gray. So these actually stitch up pretty fast. This is two nights of stitching, maybe maybe a couple of night, a couple of hours each night. Got quite a bit done. All right, and I have gotten a lot, kind of a lot done because I have not been doing anything. I haven't left, hardly even left the house in over a week, so. I am a homebody. I like being at home. Okay, so this next one is um, one of my whips that I carried into 2020. And so this was my focal piece for this week. I, I'm going to concentrate on... Um, concentrate on this one. This is the whip I'm concentrating on until it's done of, as far as my old whips go. And this is by Front Street Samplers. It's Wool and Flax Company. And this came out at market in, 19, in 2019. Um, this is a companion piece to the one that came out in market in 2018, which was the Milk and Cream Co. that everybody went crazy over. Um, I changed the colors in Milk and Cream Co. and I am changing the colors in this. And I'm changing the colors so that they, they match because they are companion pieces. But if you look, there's a lot of pinks and very um, muted colors in this. Mine does not look like this. This is where I'm at. So in my last video, my whip parade, I think it was, when I showed this, I had the two sheep done and these flowers, or this grass. And then I had these words and then half of the box filled in. This past week I finished filling in the box and I did everything from here on up. I've got a ton done. Like I said, I'm changing all the colors. So it, yeah, does not look anything like it. Um, I like it. It's going to be cute, and I already have a frame for it, so as soon as I get it done, I can get it framed and up on my wall. All right, the next thing I have worked on, this was my birthday start. It's all, in all things be exceedingly diligent by Needlework Press. Um, I'm not going to open up the full chart, but this is about half of it. And this is where I'm at. So in my last video, I had A, B, C, D done, and I think I had a couple of these done. So I have finished this part of the alphabet and done all this. I'm not going to take out the hoop because this is it. This is all I've stitched. It is being stitched on 14 count vintage country mocha. And I'm locking it. Um, I... The only goal I have for this one is I want it done by December. 
um, this was my birthday start and I want to have it done by my birthday so that I can have a new start. All right, and the last one I have to show you is Shepherd's Bush Lois's stocking. And now you're going to take it out of the set. This is where I'm at. So I've got the top all done. And I've got her all done. So I just have the bottom left to do the bottom part. And actually, the bottom part usually takes as long as this part. <laughs> just because there's a lot. It's just a lot of little fiddly stitching. And so there's a lot of color changes. That is what I've been working on. Um, this is this one is my focal piece for this week. So I'm hoping I get it finished. All right. <clears throat> Now, what do I have? Um, I have a little bit of haul. I am, since I'm not buying this year, um, I do have, but I do have some haul. These were purchased with my birthday money. I got some money for my birthday and I got a gift certificate from 123 for a uh, stitch for my birthday. So this is my haul from my birthday. So other than this, I have not purchased any charts this year. These weren't even purchased this year. They were purchased last year. <laughs> and I still have two more that are coming. They were out of stock at 123 Stitch, um, but I did order them. And so as soon as they get in stock, then I will get them. Um, all right. So what I got with my birthday money is I got, it's called Friends of Mills, Friends of the Mills Sampler by Chessie and Me. And I got Plum Street House, Plum Street Samplers Winter Salt Boxes. Now, with these, these came out. I thought they were cute. Um, the the first in the series came out, and I thought they were cute. And I, but I thought I'm not gonna buy them. Um, I don't, you know, I, I just wasn't gonna buy them. It wasn't something I was gonna do. I've seen some people stitch them up, and how they're stitching are so cute. But then when the winter ones come out, I just had to have those ones. I love them. So, because if I buy something in the series, I have to have the whole series. So now I'm on the lookout for the other ones. I will be buying the other ones. If I place a, an order, I'll just throw one of these in my order. So I got that one. And then this one is December 25th, Merry Christmas Pinky by Stacy Nash. But that was really cute. And then um, LW Motif Sampler 1821 by Samplers Not Forgotten. This picture does not do it justice. Um, Carol Salbach Stitcher, if you go watch her video, she was stitching this in honor of her daughter. Um, why her daughter has been going through um, some medical issues. And... Um, and then some other people joined. Um, if you'll look on Brenda and the Serial Starter, um, she's finished it. I think Brenda's finished it. And a few other people I know on Instagram. And it is gorgeous, I'm telling you. And I just pulled out a few of the fancy floss that I have. And then the rest I'll kit up with DMC. And then Black designs Frosty's Night Out. I thought that was just adorable. And I love how they do it in the hat. So I may go to Hobby Lobby and purchase the um, the wood piece and the paper mache box. I'll finish it that way, but Frosty's Night Out. And then the other two I have coming are um, Santa's Tree Farm and Candy Cane Lane from With My Needle and Thread. 
but hopefully I should be getting those in the next couple of days because I think they said right around the 16th or 17th they should have had them, should have had them in. So. Alright, so that was my purchases. Um, other purchase that I had is, can I even show you a picture? So, um, quilt market is unlike this cross stitch market is twice a year. I think it's October and April. And um, when I was watching, I think Fat Quarter Shop was doing some posts on Instagram when they were at Quilt Market. And they sh this was um, a quilt that as they passed by it caught my eye. So I thought I'm going to keep an eye out on it. Well, then I was watching Fat Quarter Shops um, behind the scenes, which is their, they have a floss tube channel and they also have a quilting channel on YouTube. And it was the quilting one I was watching and Kimberly showed this and on there and it's so pretty when it's all done up. So I decided to, um, get in their block of the month it was, and then they said they were doing a block of the month so yeah I decided I'm going to do this block of the month um I am not side note here I'm not a kitchen gadget person so all the new finger things like the instant pot air fryers all these new things that come out I don't go into those. Um, I got an Instant Pot for Christmas like three years ago from my in-laws. It sat on my shelf for two years and last summer my daughter's like, Mom, do you have that Instant Pot? Can I have it? Shh, yep, there you go. It went out my door. This year I got not one but two air fryers for Christmas. I have a convention oven. A convec convention. <laughs> I have a convection oven. I have an oven that's a regular oven and it's also a convection oven. I don't need an air fryer. So I returned both of them and I am using the money from that to pay for this quilt. And it's called Esther's Bloomers. There it is. So it's a block of the month and how they're doing it is the center piece, the center block right here was the, is the first month. And then I think each one of the borders that goes around it will be each additional block or will be at each additional block of the month. So there's six of them. So by the, so June will be the last one. And this picture does not do it justice. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. So I got my quilt kit for it. And I've started cutting my fabric. I don't have a mock cut. I need to finish cutting them. And then I'm going to get this part of it um, sewn up before the next one comes out. So I have that. These colors are so pretty. It's pretty pretty. All right. The next thing is everybody has heard about Bloomtopia. Um, that quarter shop every year does a quilt a quilt that you can, um, the, the patterns are free. Um, if you want to buy the kit, you can buy the kit. The patterns are free. All they ask is for a donation and it's for Make-A-Wish Foundation. This year, their goal is to raise $50,000 for Make-A-Wish. Um, Fat Quarter Shop is going to donate money. Moda Fabric is donating money. And then um, they're doing the stitch along with the Bloomtopia cross stitch chart. I am not doing that one. Um, and with that one, you can go in and buy the kit. Um, they have a project bag, they have needle minders, floss packs, everything. The chart is free, but you can go in and buy all the stuff to go with it. Um, all of the proceeds from that go to make a wish. Um, they're asking for a donation for the cross stitch chart. I believe it's a $15 don donation, um, but it's, it's a donation. So the chart is actually free. I'm not doing that one, but I decided to do the quilt. So I'm doing the Bloom Bloomtopia quilt 
for. Um, and so I, and I decided rather than doing, doing a donation every month and getting each block as it comes out, I decided to order the whole kit. So, and I ordered the whole kit and the backing kit. So we will start with this one. This is the kit. This is the quilt kit. It comes in this box. These little, it's a, has a magnetic, so they're kind of like the ones you buy at Joann's. So it comes in this box. And then this is the kit. It comes with the fabric. It comes with the pattern for the entire quilt. And um, triangles on a roll which is a fat quarter thing. I've never used these, um, but I guess you need them for the, they come in the kit. You, you can make them with, you can make the quilt without it. So if you want to use your own fabric, but anyway, I chose to get the kit. So I got the kit and I got the kit for the piece backing. So the piece backing will say 2020 on it. And the fabric and everything's in there and the pattern for it. This is going to start February 1st. Um, the, the sew along for the, uh, the quilt is going to start February 1st and the stitch along for the cross stitch one is going to start February 1st. Um, I don't I haven't decided if I'm going to start this on February 1st or not because with cross the, with quilting, same as cross stitch, I want to get some things that I've started to finish before I start any more quilts. So I want to get some quilts done before I start any. So I haven't quite decided if I'm going to start that February 1st. All right. The last thing. On my last regular video, I did a giveaway for the Prairie School or Santa Tarts. I went before I started this video to go in and pull all the comments and put them in the random number generator and to pull somebody, you know, to pull a winner. I couldn't get my comments to come up. I tried it on my computer, wouldn't work. I tried it on my tablet, wouldn't work. I could not get these comments to come up. So I went on my phone, went to YouTube on my phone, went down the comments and it said the comments have been turned off. And it didn't list any of the comments that were on there. And so then it said there was a little tab you could click that said learn more. So I went into the tab and it gave three reasons why your comments would be shut off. One was that I had shut them off, which I knew I had done that. I went in and looked. I did not shut them off. Um, I can't remember what the second one was. The third one was YouTube shut my comments off. And it has to do with this whole thing that they have come out with about protecting children that are under the age of 13 viewing questionable um, videos. So even though my videos are not, they're not geared towards anyone under the age of 13, I had not put a disclaimer in there. Even though there's nothing bad that, you know, I would let my grandkids under the age of 13 could definitely watch any of my videos. But, so YouTube shut my comments off. So I could not get into the comments to retrieve a comment to pick a winner for the giveaway. So I am going to do this again. This time I will figure out so that it doesn't shut it off. I will I have a disclaimer. I'm, disclaimer I'm going to put in the description box below. Um, I think there's a button you can mark saying it's not for anybody under the age of 13. Anyway, so hopefully my comments won't get shut off. So if you put your name in last time or you are interested in this chart, um, it is the the reprint that has 1990, 94, and 2005 Preschool Santas. And 
the original chart for the 2019 one. If you're interested in this, say Santa. All right, another giveaway. I had a designer contact me and she says, if I send you some charts, would you do them as a giveaway on your channel? And I told her I would. So Rovaris, she is an Italian designer. I will put all of her information in the description box below. She sent me four charts and I am going to give them away. So what she sent was, so these are, don't say giveaway, you know, you must be 18, all of the regular rules apply. First chart I'm giving away is Daisy. And it does come with charms. There's a, it looks like there's a flower and a bee charm. So if you're interested in this chart, say number one. Number two is Freedom. And it comes with a couple of charms also. So if you're interested in this chart, say number two. The next one is Farm. And it comes with the lace to finish it and a little charm. So if you're interested in this one, say number three. And number four is, it says north, south, east, west. It's little pillows, pin pillows. It also comes with a charm. So if you're interested in this one, say number four. Um, I have not stitched her charts, but they are nice charts. I have bought a couple of them. Um, the charts are nice and big, so they are easy to read. And they are in black and white. So I will, but I will list all her information. She has an Etsy store. She's on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I will list all her information below. So if you're interested in any of these charts, charts say one. Two, three, and four. So, and then if you want the Santa one, say Santa. And that's how I'm going to separate them out. So, if you want, if you want all of them, say Santa. One, two, three, and four. If you want, you know, just say Santa. If you want the Santa one and the farm one, say Santa and three. Anyway, so that is it for today. I will probably be back in about a month. That's, I think, typically how it's been going lately. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to share. Anyway, so um, I hope everybody has a good day and a good rest of the January and into February and I will see you in about a month. Thank you. Bye.